Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn about plate tectonics. Okay, you know, you all know that uh, the all land masses we are having at present time lie over some plates, and these plates are called tectonic plates. So uh, there is a theory given by uh, W. J. Morgan and J. T. Wilson that is known as plate tectonics. Okay. So theory of plate tectonics have evolved from Harry Hess concept of sea floor spreading. It was evolved from Harry Hess concept, and it was given by W. J. Morgan and J. T. Wilson. These they both extended the idea and produced the theory of plate tectonics from the theory of the theory of sea floor spreading. Okay, the factors which led to the theory of plate tectonics is are mapping of the ocean floor. the ocean floor was mapped because of this theory second study of seismic data seismic data means data related to earthquakes and all is called seismic data uh, and third pattern third is pa pattern of anomalies anomalies of earth's magnetic field means there was some uh, disturbance shown in the earth's magnetic field that was abnormal and so and that pattern led and these three points all together led to the um, led to the uh the foundation of plate tectonics theory okay so guys you all know i have told you before also that there are many basic theories and these are the basics of geology and these are very very important and this is the most important theory plate tectonics theory given by w j morgan and j t wilson so i want you all to learn this theory properly and uh, um, the questions are asked very frequently the questions are asked because it is a very important theory and and as i say about the all topics that they, it is still it is yeah, still it is very easy um as it is important but it is also very easy so the important features of plate tectonics are so these these are the points there are 10 points in this the theory one by one i am going to explain you uh, the, all of the points okay these points are very simple see the first point says entire earth's crust is made up of 20 lithospheric thin plates that the whole earth's crust is made up of uh, 20 lithospheric thin plates second point they have thickness of 0 to 10 km at ridges ridges means i have told you they are basically the mountains where the cracks are found so the, the they have 0 to 10 km thickness at ridges and 100 100 to 150 km thickness elsewhere okay and other at other places it is 100 to 150 km third point plates contain continental as well as oceanic surface these plates have oh yeah plates contain continental as well as oceanic surfaces fourth point plates are continuously in motion with respect to each other and due to earth's axis of rotation the plates are in motion uh, with respect to each other and and also in motion due to the rotation of earth fifth point seismicity volcanicity and tectonic activity happen around plate margins plate margins and associated with differential motion between adjacent plates seismicity means earthquake activities volcanicity means volcanic activities and tectonic activity uh, happen around plate margins okay these activities are found near the plate margins margins means near the boundaries of the plate and associated with differential motion between adjacent plates and these also happen due to the motion uh, between the two plates okay uh, now uh, there are two points a and b I mean these are basically the definition what is a plate margin marginal part of a plate suppose this is a plate and this is the this it is its marginal part so that is called plate margin and what is plate boundary boundary between two or more plates is called plate boundary okay now let's move ahead this is the sixth point these plates are small and large separated by faults and thrusts these plates are very very they, they can be small and they can be very large also and they are separated by faults and thrusts these are some deformations by these deformations these plates are separated the seventh point is they move with velocity of 1 to 6 cm per year every year the plate moves with velocity between 1 to 6 cm per year eight eighth point 
okay now there are these are some points you have to focus to understand where two plates diverge that means move away from each other we find extension as in oceanic ridges symmetric features are found at a place where two plates diverge that is move away from each other uh, their extension takes place extension or a new crust is formed uh, for example as it happens in the oceanic ridges uh, the sea floor that uh, sea floor spreading method same when two plate diverges away from each other means move away from each other their uh, extension uh, we find extension extension means a um, new crust is formed there and uh, example you can see oceanic ridges and uh, here symmetric features are found because uh, from the, if this is the ridge uh, the crust will be formed in this direction also and in this direction also so the there is symmetry also ninth point where two plates converge and one is pushed beneath other we find iceland arcs and asymmetric features such as sites of earthquakes explosive volcano great topographic relief features okay this means at a place where two two plates converge converge means come close to each other and and see these are two plates and both are coming close to each other and one is moving one is pushed beneath this is this plate is beneath this plate okay the left plate is between the right plate so what happens we find iceland arcs their iceland arcs are made what are iceland arcs long chain of active volcano and many asymmetric features asymmetric features means there will be no symmetry between those features such as sites of earthquakes are made explosive volcano great topographic relief features are also made i have explained all these great topographic features means there are some landforms new landforms are formed and the 10th point is where two plates slide past each other we find transparent fault that is dip strike fault and at the places where two plate where two plates slide past each other and slide against each other we find transparent faults that is dip strike faults okay so guys now i will give you the notes